Hello, Sarah Keogh here, Prippy Property. This property is reference S-1334. It's up at 200,000 euros. It has just under 500 square meters of land and the property is 180 square meters of build. It's very light, it's modern. It was built approximately 10 years ago. Um, Paul has just walked down the entrance way. We're only about two kilometers from Anxiao. But as he pans around in a minute, you will see we're in a very rural location. The boundary is here to the, your left. Main entrance here. And if you can look down here slightly, you will see that there is an underneath garage, so you have private parking. And if you see the stone wall, that is the boundary wall that goes round to the back where the Eura is, which is the Portuguese word for th threshing circle. You'll see that later. So coming into the property, you will see that you have the view here whenever you walk in. So that's the main stopper of the, the house. And it's an L shape. So if we go to the right here, we have the kitchen. Fully equipped, in very good condition. The property also, because it's low maintenance, um, we've either got calçadas, which are cobbles in Portuguese, and there's, it's all walled, it's a low maintenance property. So it operates very well as a rental property, if you're looking for an investment, uh, easy to rent out, great location for rentals, but it's also very easy to maintain family home for someone who wants somewhere to sit, a view to enjoy, but they don't want to be doing a lot of gardening. So it operates on both of those levels. Above me, which we're not going to go into, but there's a large attic space, which obviously if you needed further accommodation, you could easily utilise that. There's ladders that come down. There's also the garage underneath. Um, obviously that's quite handy for the car, but there's options here if you want to increase the habitation size of the property. If you keep following me, you'll see we have a large open plan Living room, well, the living room. From which you have two French doors onto a large balcony. The balcony is, I'm just going to measure it. One, two, three. One, two. If we've got, say you've got a 20 square metre balcony out from the lounge. So come this way and so you can see the view. You'll also be able to take in, maybe, the boundary wall and the era, the threshing circle, which has the barbecue and the old stone building there, which would have been the original building which was threshing the wheat. As you're looking at the windows, the far right next to the stone build, that's the master ensuite bedroom. You can sit in bed there and take in the views. Then the middle one 
is in between bedrooms and the third one we saw as we walked into the property. So here we are in the last bedroom, this is the master en suite, again full wardrobes, central space, central heating and here we have the en suite bathroom, bidet, toilet, radiator, shower cube, wash basin and storage, all looks new. So if you come onto the area here, uh, it's very beautiful. You can see the exterior of the property. It was all painted about two years ago. And then you've got the view. Nice countryside. On your left you've got the, the small building and the barbecue. It's a great place for entertaining. And that is the gate that goes around the rear of the property.